All I know is I'm just gonna fly through this stage. See, look, this looks like a derelict factory. Oh, yeah, it's like left to itself. And, but, um, there's like a uh, camp level that's kind of like Not camp, camp. Camping? Yeah, like a summer camp style thing. The American style summer camp, you know, like the wooden pictures and stuff. Oh. Or the Western style. I believe we have things like that. The good old uh, Britannia, eh? Britannia? Yeah. What's that? That's what we live in, Britannia. Never heard of it. No, that's fine. The Ink Nation. <laughs> See, look at that guy! Look at that motherfucker up there! He's like a sniper rifle. See, I ain't gonna die once. Too good. I wonder if I could place the paint. What? Replace the paint. Or oh, change the colour of the paint in post head. Yeah, when you said about this, you said you use it as a green screen. Yeah, but I was thinking like turn it to something blue. So blue. Blue, blue. You can totally do that. There you go. Nice nicely done. Easy. I thought yes. she was going to, I, I would assume she was going to say very nice and I was going to put that out, so... Nicely done. Very nice. It's almost as if played before. It's very nice. Oh, he's back. Hey, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take this. Yeah, they got, like, snipers, so they can, like, hit you from a distance, but it's... They, again, they got these, like, weirdly long, creepy heads. Be careful, Agent 3. Hey, man, I'm better than you. You're Agent 1. Yeah, I don't know how that. Oh no, not these again! These are your big favourite. These haven't killed you once. Oh, no, these have basically killed. These are the only way. Not I've even done. once. Again. You're, you're an expert at these. Probably you could have just a uh, grenade there. Yeah. You got the secret one. Oh. There you go. Why, why did this happen? You've never used the triggers. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, moist. I'm a pro gamer! And I told you I was gonna fly through the stage, didn't I? I don't know. No, you're gonna let it take. I don't remember that. No, I'm gonna take a hit. Oh, no, no, your feet are sticky. Come on, I can stop that. Yeah, it's either like derelict factory or the camp zone kind of assets we used. The thing is, I think the one player does have genuinely new assets to it. It isn't just like copy the based assets from the uh, PvP rings. Because that's the camp zone stuff there, you see over there, with like the, the tiki thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, but like, uh, like, the fans and stuff make me think of like something else. Actually, all of a sudden I'm getting another vibe from this game. Go for it. Uh, I'm getting a bit of a Super Mario World vibe. The classic oh, yeah. game. Do go into it because uh, you're way more familiar with Super Mario World being the person who created it. What? No. no. Let's not go into those kind of details, man. Those are, those are bad memories. Uh, it's more the fact that <laughs> you go into this like kind of dome almost. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I get what you're talking about. You are yeah, inside yeah, like you're a... this little inside. But then the whole theming of the game is being inside giant balls. Yeah. But I mean, I suppose the other fact about I should really pay attention to with that game is. Um... So I guess this is kind of going for the same thing because it's like fish balls. Oh maybe, but I suppose I should consider that like in Monkey Ball, all you had was the stage and a skybox. Oh yeah, stuff. yeah. But it's the similar um, kind of thing where all you've got is a stage and it's in just a giant room, like a void. Mm. He's doing the same thing here. I wonder, yeah, it's, it's interesting. But I wonder if there's any like correlation with that because the level design does have that kind of familiarity with that. I mean, it's obviously not puzzle based, but maybe Super Mario Adventure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Slow moving bullet. Yeah, no. Well, he just fell off. Yeah, the he's gonna 
Uh, 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 no, I, I was. Uh, never gonna die. Go never gonna it. die. Go Perfect go run. Perfect run, man. No, no death run. Never happened. No death Power run. Post edit. I got distracted talking about Super Monster War. Very vaguely. It always distracts you. Call me anything else which isn't working right now. I was really sure he was going to be able to hit you there. No way, man. I understand this game. Pro gamer. Third person pro gamer. Oh, my God. Mm. No, fine. Didn't edit. happen, didn't happen. Didn't no didn't death happen. Just gonna edit out. Hey look, there's some uh, like opening. Okay. Talking about that again. Oh yeah. Yeah, like there's like uh, really convenient of the sky to I think some of these graffitis are referencing some somebody, like because some of them have like Mickey Mouse ears and stuff like that, and I think they're referencing actually graffiti. Oh eyes. they're referencing Dead Mouse. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. There's probably a Banksy one too in here or whatever. Or Pacific Eagle. Inkski. Inkski. You know, this game's all about its mad power, isn't it? Because, yeah, it has got a, a certain amount of it, but a lot of it's original. Yeah, yeah I'll just wait down there. Should go get it. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at me! I'm look finding you, you did it all by yourself. Look you're, at me, finding you're cool almost stuff. a real flag. Real flag? A real flag. Oh, yes. See? I am said indeed. boy. I am indeed a flag. Who said boy? Uh. Uh. Yeah, see if you can make it through here, Sonic. Yeah, see? They'll never get me. So. Alright, the original. See if you can make it through here, monkey balls. Yeah, take it. Come here. Good work! You got this! Yeah! Yes. Oh, do I need to get over there? Probably, I don't know. Oh god! While, man. It's a tough game, this. But it's very easy. It's tough, but well easy. Yeah. Good good use. Well, it's just because I'm a bit of a description. Oh, I look at your other favourite enemies, the uh. Rombas. Rombas? Oh, the Hoover guys. Ah, they're fine. So yeah, if you if you had the both the um, amiibos for this game, you get a bunch of like trials. One mm. with a sniper rifle and one with a roller. Wasn't there like, like a cracking one? I can't. I think the Kali and Molly amiibos did the same thing as well, but one was the male and it's female, basically. Oh okay. I was tempted to get those, but I don't know. They're just they're a touch too less quality for me to really be here invested in them. Mm. Like the quality of the amiibos, they're good, but they're just a touch too little for me to be invested. I'd rather just buy a really nice figure. Like I said, yeah, they ever so, brought yeah. out the uh, like collectible cards or something that got my favorite card. You know what might be interesting? To do a little bit of investigation into the Japanese uh, figurine Steam market tests. and see if they've got some actual figures of these characters. No, even Doshinji ones. I know Japan or Nintendo tends to be quite strict about their, yeah, uh, trade, their yeah. properties. Their properties. I'm actually kind of worried about this video, whether or not it's going to be like get taken down. That is actually some possibility, isn't it? Yeah. We have not really thought about this. We just kind of decided. I'm still hey, going to put it up. I'll just won't monetize it if I have to, because like I say, the second channel is like this. Like a on it. If I have to, I just won't monetize it. But they tend to be kind of nah about it. There is this new system in place where they take like 30% of the profits from your videos. Yeah. But well, well, sometimes all of it, actually. Yeah. No, there's like, yeah, with Let's Players, they'll be like, oh, we'll take 30%, but you can still do it. You can get like reduced. It's one of those weird situations where Nintendo needs to get off this now. It's, it's stupid. They're slowly getting there, though, because I mean, like, I think that was the idea of taking down the Miiverse. Is the idea that they, they, they want people to share stuff on social media now. Yeah, but they're starting to be a bit more exceptional with like, yeah, yeah, of social media advertising their stuff and doing fan art. Instead of saying like, no, no, we only want our own little zone, you're not allowed to step out of it, all of our people. Unless you, you know, decide to make a game, of course. You know what that does? That that makes your audience segregated from other audiences. It doesn't bring in new audience. It's not a good idea. <laughs> you want to just let people share your shit so you can like... Get free advertisement. Yeah, I mean, like people see us having a great time playing this game and talking about how lewd it is. They're gonna want to play it. What are you on about? The fucking squid, man. Who's ever sexualized a tentacle? The squids, man. And the kids. What? 
Oh, Those two so. things have never had any sexual connotations ever. Kids right. and squids. Yeah. This guy. I don't know about you, but I never once thought about, you know, doing naughty things when I was a teenager. Back in the 1950s. Oh, wait a minute, stop shot. Stop shot. Back in the 1950s when I was a teenager, we never once thought about nude things. Yeah. All the ladies covered up their... What are you talking about outfits. 1950s? <laughs> what are you talking about? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, I'm just getting a bit annoyed at this guy. Getting frustrated at this man. Get out of here. You're... Oh, yes. Get out of here. Maybe he's just like throw a grenade in. I did! Didn't reach. Maybe just do it better. We do it better. Actually, I'm no, hold on, I'm the one. Playing the game! <laughs> <laughs> one more try. I'm the one playing the game! Oh god. Top lines playing, it's not box. Box is good at video games. You all oh, saw it. I did that that good online game, it was real good. I know I was against new people, but still. Maximum Squad. Maximum Johns. Do you remember the Stain Johns? Back in the Smash Mario's era. Back in the Smash. Oh yeah, that's something I need to bring up. Smash. It, it's really been bothering me as well. What? Open it. Okay. Yeah. Like good though. Like good though. Can I just aim really high? Me. No, I didn't seem to be. I swear you could get over there. Oh, I did distract him though. Maybe you should like shoot those things. Oh. That's fine. Maybe you should shoot those things and then like he gets distracted by the grenade. Go grenade now and just swing over there. There you go. Hey! There you go. Excellent! Rocket science. See, look, that purple chick who's definitely not somebody we know already. Is it Kelly? Who? Maui? Who? Kelly? Yeah, now tell me which one's which. Maui. Which one's the purple one? Kelly. Which one's the green one? Maui. Are you sure about that? Sure. You sure? Sure, why not? Mm, why would I not be no. sure? I don't know. They oh, look at this meat grinder. Oh, it's just they haven't really introduced themselves all that much. Well, we just seen them on every time we open up the game for like five hours where they won't stop talking. I don't open the game that much, but... In fact, this is only our third sitting of the game. If you played online every day, like I did in the first game now, oh, you, 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 you know it. so much about them, you know so deep things about their lives. Like about um, their dislikes and likes. Oh, right. Because obviously they're on the vote thing, they always pick a side whenever you do yeah. the, the splat fests. So you know which one likes this and things like that. Like which one likes sleeping in and which one likes getting up early. Which one uh, likes breakfast uh. and which one likes dinner. Um, did you ever get the option for both? Like so you could have no. like breakfast and dinner? No, there's no brunch in. But yeah, you get you get all sorts of things. You know what? I, I might even look up all the Splat Fest options. Okay. Um, yeah, and maybe I could give my answers to what I would have picked. Yeah. Because obviously be... I've missed out on doing that at all. Give me a second as well. I've drunk too much cider. You keep us all entertained while. Oh. I've, oh. Okay. Um, Make funny. So now it's my responsibility to ensure that everyone here is entertained. Answer me this question. Something I've noticed recently in a lot of kids' cartoons is there's a strange emphasis on partying. I mean, however. From my understanding, a party is you go out and you drink a lot, you possibly engage in drugs, you may get on with people and act in very um, sexual fashions. But from what I can understand, kids can't get away with those kind of things. So when a kid is sort of shown partying in a cartoon, it just winds up with all the characters sort of like just there, bouncing around. I don't actually understand. Maybe it's just I'm disassociated from the whole sort of like normal person reality. You always see parties going on in shows like Adventure Time, you see it in Star vs. The Forces of Evil, they love to have parties. Oh, Mabel, she loved to have a party, didn't she? It's just, there's a factor about modern cartoons where they have this emphasis on 
partying and getting absolutely shit-faced. But they don't get shit-faced. They wind up in a room, they laugh, and they jump around to drum and bass or dance music, dance music. And the other thing that I really have to think about is, what are the kids who are watching these shows thinking when these moments occur? Are they thinking in depth about it? Do they just look, look there and say, ah, guess that's what you do at a party. You go and you dance and you wriggle your arms. But uh, then if you watch stuff like MTV, you see that there's a lot of sexually charged imagery. Dancing, they're twerking, twerking their booty, kicking it around, doing very sexual things. Again, what are kids thinking about that stuff? It's just weird to me. Just really weird. We weren't talking about the gay stuff, were you? Oh, that's a really important one. Well done. I'm not really paying attention to that. <laughs> I'm just sat here confused about modern day childhood. You're going to read it out in a very uh, fun, loving voice? Do I have to? But it's important. Uh, victory in the kids' folk singing contest went to these two cousins. of From the Calamari region. Uh, the remarkable voices had ink freshes riding high throughout the audience, and earned them a standing ovation from all present. Now, what's ink pressures a uh, euphemism for? <laughs> ink pressures? Yeah. Euphemism? Oh. <laughs> also, it's fine, they're cousins. <laughs> wait, wait, to what degree? Once removed, twice removed? Voice There's movie? cousins, I imagine. They're not sisters, even though they're called the uh, ink sisters. Yeah, they're the squid sisters. 